Get ready for Mikey Sen TV. Four, three, two, one, zero. Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, you might have guessed it just from the title alone, or the description, or the thumbnail. Probably all of it mixed together, right? Guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, we're going to do another taste test. Now, if you watched my other video, you know that I found these world's hottest chip makers. Uh, they made a bag of ghost, haunted ghost pepper chips uh, in the bag and they were amazing I've ate another bag since then as a matter of fact and I found these Ooh, you can hear them over here on the side can't you you can hear them over here I found these at the same store the packy I'm gonna say packy fiery chili limon real peppers real heat now these are only rated as super hot uh, the haunted ghost pepper ones are rated as like extreme, crazy, holy crap kind of hot. So, and they are quite warm. So, I'm going to give these a shot. Let's do a thumbnail. Anyway. Alright. Yeah, and plus it's going on 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't had lunch. So these are going to be my lunch. Good lunch, huh? Good lunch. Let's do the all-important sniff sniff. Now these do have a little bit more sniffy sniff than than the uh, haunted ghost pepper ones. Of course the lime. Now I have had lime tortilla chips before. I didn't even know I got them the one time I got them. And I took a bite and I was like, what the heck's going on with these chips? Trying to find out they were lime. Wasn't crazy about them. But I got these because, well, to support them, and because they're at least uh, super hot. So that's better than not hot. They do have a nice little color to them. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, you can taste the lime. Super hot. Not yet. Unless it's one of those slow burns. There's some, pe there's some peppers, and there's some capsaicin, and some extracts that take a, a few seconds to kick in. Hmm? Uh -uh. No. Super hot. No. I'll put these on par with just your typical, yeah, these are barely even on par with some of the other ones that you've seen me taste test. That one that's in everything from every chip to every, you know, beef stick or whatever, whatever it's called. Now, I can't see, to see these as super hot even at all, not even close. Mm-mm. 
Now, the haunted ghost pepper ones, yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty toasty. They're edible, no problem at all, since I've had two bags. Very edible, but they're way toastier than these. These, eh, you can handle, easy. They got a good taste. I'll give them that, they got a good taste if you like a little bit of lime kick. Up in there. Without cutting the video short, I'm going to give it a minute just to see if anything starts going on. But with the haunted ghost pepper ones, you knew it instantly. Like you knew you were on a whole different playing field. Hmm. I'm a little disappointed. Not super hot. Might be at least a little hotter than this. Again, good taste, guys. It'd be good in some salsa, some queso dip, anything like that. That'd be good mixing them in with taco salads. I do that a lot of times if I'm making taco salads at home. I'll just get like a bag of Tostitos or whatever they're called or something like them. I'll even use Doritos, whatever. Good flavor. On a scale of 1 to 10 as far as hot goes, hmm, that's a tough one. Probably, for me, I'll give it maybe a 3. You might taste them and be like, man, that's a 6 or a 7. But if these are a 6 or a 7, then those ghost ones, the ghost, the haunted ghost pepper ones are going to be astronomical. They're going to be crazy for you. And that's a scale of 1 to 10 for a chip. You know, I'll give it a 3. And that's pushing it. Good taste, though. Hmm. Anyway, guys. Don't touch your eyes still with that. Hope you enjoy my little taste test videos. I enjoy doing them, obviously. Give you an idea of some things that you might could try. Things you can get. Some interesting stuff out there. Like, share, subscribe, comment to, to, to my channel, to my videos. And forgive me, my nose is itching. Check the playlist. I have all kinds of stuff in my playlist. From taste test to cycling. Some video game stuff. Playing darts. Art projects talking about movies and stuff and just everything you can imagine is on Mikey Sin TV. Check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only. Like, share, subscribe, comment on that as well. I think I have a decent channel, both my channels, uh, both family friendly. Uh, no matter if I get into uh, discussions that are a little bit more touchy from politics to religion to things that are in the news uh, that we see whatever I try to be somewhat respectful no cussing all right guys get up get out get rad do to it and I'm gonna finish my little bag of chips here we'll see y'all later mm. No, 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 no.